Hi, I'm Alexa Sheffield. I'm the horticulture agent here for Boyle County. And if you've ever been interested in growing cut flowers, here's a few keys to success. So number one is always gonna be to take a soil test. All 120 Kentucky counties do soil testing there. So no excuse not to go get that done. And you don't wanna waste any money on fertilizer that you don't need. Another tip for growing cut flowers is gonna be not to overhead water. And so this helps prevent any disease issues. And it also keeps those white flowers nice and white without any of those ugly brown spots. Another key, don't overfeed. So flowers are not heavy feeders, such as uh, tomatoes or peppers. And so you don't need to overdo it uh, with the fertilizer. A little bit of nitrogen up front and a little bit of phosphorus in the middle of the season will go a long way. Another tip, if you want straight stems, you're going to have to use netting uh, of some kind. So there's Hortonova netting, which is a plastic reusable netting. You can also use uh, different trellis systems, whatever works best for you. But if you want straight stems, you gotta protect them from the wind. Uh, last, you wanna make sure you're incorporating foliages, uh, filler flowers, as well as statements. So we want a good mix of all three of those to make, be able to make really nice, lovely bouquets, uh, as what, well as adding some dimension uh, into the landscape border. We also have some great resources. So UK has some uh, publications. You'll see those here on screen uh, for cut, growing cut flowers, but there's numerous amount of books that you can read as well as online publications. Uh, some of them are right here behind me and all will be really helpful in getting you off and running in your cut flower garden.